we are beginning our lesson 24 the page Zion 7 the left column the line 5 Um, this commentary Mar Otasula brings us different numbers and the crucial knowledge about the traits of what we learn learned in the last lesson, the Abawiyima, the higher Bina, that are always um, gar, always has have the quality of a head. They have always ten spherot. And still they prefer Hasadim. And their Hasadim are Avira Dahya, thin air. And it's very important item because now what we are learning from Atsilut uh, the all this relation relationship in Atsilut we can find in every tensferot every ter- tensferot it means every situation every state of mind of feeling everything that lives and at a particular moment has it in itself experiences in itself uh, tensferot. Some of them can be hidden for a person, for a creature. Some are di- discovered. Some are um, dispo- How do you call it? Are open. Um, but. Still, there are always these ten. And in the state of the Gadlut, they are um, thirteen. And in every ten spherot, we have this Abu and Ima. And in every these higher bina, in, and they are wherever they are, they always keep uh, their structure, their qualities, their traits the same. So we know now that these. Bina is structured like this. And at the end of the lesson, he said to us something that probably would not, he would not immediately uh, understand what he is speaking about. That what he said that Abuima are always uh, in a state of Avira Deloit Yada. This is the Aramaic in the second line from the first from the second word and the second, third and the fourth word. Avira Deloit Yada, the air that is not 
uh, understandable or that one can't get the idea, the knowledge from this. What does it mean? Knowledge or this this word itiada comes from a Aramaic from uh, that we call it dat. Dat is a kind of just translation of it is a kind of knowledge. And it is very important item in understanding of how it works. It is a kind of uh, what I told already that is between the Chokhmah and Bina. And Chokhmah and Bina are Abba Ima, Abba and Ima, father and mother. So between them, when the lower levels rise, man a request then this request comes in the, uh, as dad between Chokhmah and Bina and stands between the Chokhmah and Bina and uh, brings the Chokhmah and Bina to Zivug. Without the dad, no Zivug would be between between Chokhmah and Bina. And so the dad, and only due to the dad, can the lower uh, level, the body, let's say, of this ten spherot receive the light from the head. All the light comes from the head from a head of the partsuf. And look how we are, how we are, how we put it. The head a head is like a higher level and the body is like a lower level from the same the same general level of ten spherot. But we are speaking like this. Actually they are as if uh, as if they are a higher and lower levels. But this that is crucial to in uh, in that that this that um, Trans- transports the light the that mud is that is a reaction as it were the that is given from above to the lowers to the lower level in this case the body of the partsuf that asked for light like a body, uh, the body, as it were, like uh, asks for feed, feed, for feeding. Yes, the same, the same way is the lower. The ask lower asks uh, level asks for uh, for light, and the light comes to the to to the lower levels. Uh, through the dad, first through the dad, through through the dad, dad receives from Chokma and from the Bina, and he has two parts in itself. It has uh, Hasadim and Gorod, Hasadim from right and. Bin, uh, from Bina he has Gvurot 
It's like Chokma and Bina, but uh, but in the great that it uh, that the lower level could taste it and could be able to to uh, experience this to to eat it as it were in a suitable uh, form so the Light comes from above through the middle line. The middle line is, as we see, this is the dot in the head, in the head of the partsuf. Partsuf we call something that has ten spherot. Sometimes we say that the partsuf can be of cut nut, the small state. It has seven spherot. That means even when we say seven. For it means, in general uh, terms, it has seven. It doesn't have, as it were, the head. In general terms, the general three spherot it doesn't have. But considering itself, seven spherot, the body, it has all ten spherot of its own. These seven partic- uh, particular spherot uh, for for the body for the partsuf that it, that has only seven spherot uh, particular seven spherot I mean particular uh, seven what I said general spherot only seven and not but in particular it has ten spherot its own ten spherot it's like uh, we can compare it with two. Uh, people. Uh, let's say a father and his small child. A father could maybe a great basket basketballer, two meter two meters and twenty high, and his uh, child is one year old stands next to him to is like uh, or two years like to his knee his height is like is reach only the knee of the um, of the of his of his father if we compare them we can say that the partsuf the length of his son is up to the knee of his father in general terms when we compare these two but if we take the structure of the son itself on itself we say that even this small stature of his of him uh, height of him, length, has all ten spherot of its own, all particular ten spherot of its own. It has a head, it has a body, it has feet, uh, it has everything. Uh, so the dad is the stands in between the Chokma and Bina in the head and p- provides for tra- transforming the light from a head of the Partsuf or we can say yeah from one a higher uh, level to the lower level to the um, lower level to the body and then in the body we have Tiferet that uh, provides the light uh, transports the light to the lower through the midline but now is something very 
interesting here what he just had said uh, at the end of the last lesson that the dad of the Abba Vyima is he said that Avira de Loya Ityada that the Abba Vyima they have the heir or Hasadim it's the same uh, Hasadim that are that can't be uh, that can be known as it were can be grasped and it uses the word for knowledge for dad dad is knowledge it means that also between the Bina and Chokhmah and Bina we have dad but also this dad uh, is also uh, Hasadim. And in such a way it can transform the Chokhmah to the lowest. It, it doesn't have this Chokhmah in itself. Or it prefers in the same way like Chokhmah uh, and Bina, it prefers to he prefers the uh, Hasadim. And that's why we say that the dad of the between that stands between the Chochm, Chochm, between the Abu Yima, we can't learn from it. And learning from something means Ladat is the verb verb ladat to know or to learn to know um, it means to pass it or to receive it to receive chokhmah and chokhmah means uh, chokhmah for the higher for a higher level um transfers in Gvorot in the, for a lower, lower, lower level. So this dad can transform the the Chokhmah to the lower level. But Yishsud, the seven lower Svirot below uh, the lo- seven lower spherot of the Bina can do it because they are Yishsud, they are uh, seven uh, spherot even in the Bina they are from Chesed till the Malchut so they are only the enclosure of the lower world of the lower level of the Ziran being that is by by its nature only six lower sphero and Balhut and the Nukva, the sep, the, the tenth sphera. So this lower part of the Bina from Hesit of the Bina up till the Malhut of the Bina has but by its nature the uh, the wish and the responsibility to transfer the Chokhmah to the Ziyanpin and Nukva. Because they are also, the, uh, like, uh, they are also, uh, Yishsut is actually Ziyanpin of the Bina. Yes? Six Firot, six Firot plus. Uh, Nukva Zon, we can say better. Zon, Ziyanpin, and Nukva of the Bina. So they have the similar the similarity of uh, uh, the quality of the traits. They are actually the source, the source of the Zon of the Ziyanpin and Nukva. From the four four stages four uh, stages of 
or phases of the uh, direct light, the forming of the Kli in the direct, uh, the transformation of the uh, the four stages of the um, direct light. That you remember that the Bina first didn't want to rec- didn't want receiving the light of the Chokhmah, and then the, the, this corresponds here in the Arikan Pin with the Abo Yima. They don't need it, the Chokhmah, and but then at the end of the of their development, they decided to receive the Chokhma, but then it is a new, a new quality. That's why they separated from, were separated from uh, the. Here we see in the Atsilut that the lower Bina uh, Yishsut separated themselves and became a separate Partsufim Yisrael Saba and Tfuna. Because they need Chokhmah to trans- transport it, transfer it to, transport it to the zone, to the real zone. Zone is the Zeyrampin and Nukla. And with in the Yishsut we have also uh, that, yeah, because Yishsut is, is structured or as in the same way as ten spherot every way where you have ten spherot you have also the dot. And now we are returning to the to our Zohar, the page Zion seven, the left column, column the line five. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you hear it? Yes. Now is better. Okay. So hear me. Hear you hear me. Okay. The microphone was too close to the to our to my main microphone. And now the line five. So you see what we are studying now is not something that is outside myself. In every state we have ten spherot also now in this condition of this particular moment when you listen to this uh, you're listening to this lesson you have also the state of ten spherot then by learning this you automatically you let this information project and engrave in yourself all these traits, all these relationships. And then you will see with ten spherot in every state what to do with them. What shall, how can I, how can I, uh, in every state, in my every condition, how, what I shall, what I need to do, and how I need to do uh, to elevate elevate my state and to receive to elevate my lower uh, uh, powers. Let's say the uh, the wish to receive for itself above and to break to rise uh, up uh, the man the request and then you come above you rise within yourself 
to first to the Yesod in in the in this in the middle line. Uh, first to the Ateret Yesod, then the Yesod, then to the Da to to the Tiferet, and then to the Dad, and then when your man rises up to the Dad, then the same way you have the same, then the similar, uh, then you are busy with the similar thing, process, what we are speaking now about. Then you will see that everything is you, what you are learning now, everything is you, and not outside of you. Every time try to see it in this, in this way, and you will succeed uh, this is for sure. Five. Am nam hayish sud. Shehem zat debina. Six. Hat srichot le ora chokma. Bigdei le hashpia. El hazon. Seven. Nimtsaim. Nivgamim Mihamad Hayitsiya Mirosh de Arihan Pin Eight Ki Hisarona Hochma Mihamad Hayotam Baguf de Arihan Pin Nine Murgash Bahem Le Hisaron Mamash ולפיכך אווירה תן שלהם אינו נבחן לדחיה אלא נקרא אווירה סתם פוינט. אמנם פייף היישסות בת די ישסות Yisrael Saba et Tfuna. Shehem Zad de Bina, the Veya Zad Zain Tachtonot, seven lower spherot of the Bina, six. Had Srihot Lora Hochma, that Ne, that. They need, need, they need the light of Chochma. Bihdele Hashpia Elazon in order to give it to the Zon. Zirampin and Nukva. Seven. Nimtsayim. Uh, it means that they are Nivgamim, that they are uh, damaged. Mechamata Yitziyam Yarosh Arichan Pid, Arichan Pin, due to their outcoming, outgoing from the Rosh of the Arichan Pin. Yes, uh, because Rosh Arichan Pin is like. Let's let's go further. Eight. Ki chisarona chokma, because the lack of the chokma. Mihamad hayutam baguf de arichan pin, because of their standing in the goof in the body of the arichan pin. Nine. Murgash bahem is filled by them. They feel it as the real chisaron, real um, shortage of and that's why avira shalahem, the avir, the air, the chasadim, ten that of them. 
a non-Ifhan Ledachia is not considered as Dachia, as a thin one, thin ones. Ela Nikra Avira Stam, but is called Avira Stam, just a plain Avir, Hasadim. Because this Hasadim, the Hasadim, what they, the, that they have is different of, from the Hasadim of the Abuim. Yes? Abuim is Hasadim, is Gar Hasadim that actually belongs to the head. The quality of the head. Whilst this Hasadim are just Hasadim, they are of the quality of Vak, of six uh, endings of seven tenths without a head. Point. Because you remember that uh, so well that so well as um, in the Kilim, as in the lights, we're speaking about five or ten Sfirot, or ten lights, or ten Kilim. So, in the light, we also say that there are, um, if we say Vak, or if we say the body only, uh, of the lights, we can say also the body of the lights. Why not? Normally we don't say it, but we we what that what by that we say that if we say only the body of the of the lights, or we say also vak. Vak means vak, um, vav ktsavot six endings. That it means like ziran pin of the lights. We can say also like this. It means, or zone of the lights, it means only six or seven um, lower lights without the head. And in the same way we can say, speak about the kilim. And, but there are also special names. That's why we have also the special names for lights. Nefesh. Ruach, Neshama, Chaya, and Yehida. And they have also a special meaning. We will learn it more and more. Eleven. So we see that Yeshud as being a lower Bina needs the chokma and receives chokma. Of course, through the Abu Yima that transport still that 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 just transport transport the chokma, but not as by only by way of transportation, just without their participation in this without the receiving of the light of the Chokmah themselves. There are different ways how the light trans transports uh, from a higher to the lower. Uh, but this is one of, one of these ways where they don't need it, so they don't uh, feel any anything from this, uh, from this chokmah. Only that they do something that, of course, is necessary or requested by the law. Whilst the lower chokmah, yishsut, uh, 
is like a, a belly of the Bina and feels uh, very much with the needs of the um, lowest of the Zon. And needs terrible this Chokhmah, but only then, only when the lower lowers, when the lower levels, when the zone, when the Ziran, when Ziran Pin and Nukwa uh, deserve this light. And how can they deserve this light? Light, they always, they also, they also belong, belonging. Ziran Pin and Nukwa to the world con- concern uh, comparing to the souls they are belonging to the higher world to the operational system of the universe they also they are uh, can only ask for uh, Chochma only when the souls are asking for this, when only the souls uh, rise up the corresponding man that corresponds to this request. From above they they don't give anything uh, that is uh, superfluous, no? Superfluous over over tolach. Something that is more than uh, superfluous, not something that is more than is asked for. for, for. Okay, so. Uh, superfluous so this is what uh, nothing from above doesn't they they don't give uh, nothing superfluous everything is in accordance with the powers anti-egoistic powers of the uh, lower levels it's very important also for us to know this principle they give from above they give only strictly that is strictly necessary for the law why don't don't they give the the abundance of uh, blessings and everything else chokhmah in the great abundance because it would not it would uh, not be uh, it would not be, be it would not bring bring the uh, elevation the true spiritual elevation of the lower level This principle is very important principle. I call this principle in in my lessons. I call this principle the request for the six uh, refrigerator. Yeah. So if you require, let's say that you ask you ask something for the higher. You have you are in the prayer. You have shortage. You feel that you need the strength, the power from above. Then it can be that, according to your feeling, you are asking for something that is uh, strictly necessary for you, necessarily for you. You need it. You feel that you can't live without this. And this is in this way. It is very important to know. To try to know what you really need and even ask 
the Akadosh Baruhu, the Creator, the Light, the End of, to give you the feeling and understanding what you really need. Yes, because we can, uh, because when we are not corrected, and uh, we can all, we can ask. Something that we see, we think that the, I need this, I need this terribly. I can't live without this. But from above, they see it as uh, completely superfluous, as the sixth refrigerator in one apartment. That's why very often we feel as if uh, our request, our prayer is not answered. It is, there is no reply, as it were. I don't feel that, I'm, I reg, reg, I reg, that I get what I asked for. Because it's, it, it's, it's given... Because sometimes we ask for something what is uh, superfluous, and then they don't, uh, we don't receive it, because this is not a request. The, uh, the request is only sincere, sincere, sincere request. The true request only when uh, you ask for something that you for that you really have the pain and necessity and not only that you have this but also that in the reality the true reality that the giving of this from above the filling this shortage would bring you the relief or Elevation. This is the true um, request, man, we call it. And then everything works. Everything above works uh, properly. Then the Bina and the Chokma they are coming in Zivuk in, and they bring. Uh, uh, they bestow this mud to the lower levels. Uh, Eleven. Vechen nikra avira dit yada klomar ha omede leit yada twelve ule hamshih Kochma, al yidei haman hanikradat. Look what he says about this yishsut. That a yishsut is called avirastam, the just plain avir, chesedim. Uh, Eleven. Vechen nikra aviradit yada and. It is all also called Avira de Ityada. The Avir, the air, de Ityada, that is no, uh, n n that can be known. Klamar, that means how met Lityada, Lityada. That, that means that it stands at the point to be known, to become known. Twelve. Ulam shi chokma and to draw down the chokma ali de haman by due to the man the request anikradat with that, the request that is called dat 
So look what he says to us, that the request, man, is called dad, called dad. Point. So you see that uh, it means, this means that the, in the Yishsud, that also form, that form also the tenth spherot. Actually, it is also a masculine and feminine. The masculine has ten and the feminine has ten, but we can just say, uh, put them together and we can say that Chokhmah and Vina of the years, that when the request comes in between them, then it means that the dad that comes in between them, that this dad, this dad is really dad, in real dad, dad, knowledge, that brings knowledge, that brings uh, chokhmah to the lower spirit. It transforms, it has the capability, uh, it is capable to bring chokhmah to the low, to the lowest. It means also that this that also this you remember that every sphera has its own particular sphera. That means that by that the that that is man that is request that, that stands between Chokhmah and Bina when the Da'at re- receives from them Chesed and Gura look what I say the, look what I try to say which just came in, my, in, in myself something that how it, it works Chokhmah gives from here from his part gives Chasadim because the right, this is right column, right line, gives Hasadim. And the Bina gives uh, of this red one, the, the bodily material, like we say it, Gvurot. It's, and now we have two things in this dad. From the right side is, or above, actually. Right is also above, and left is also lower. So what we see in this dot? This dot now has, when it has these powers, it receives then from the left of him, or lower part of him, Gvurut. They are like Masach, they, they make it, they are like Masach. And from the right side of the dad is Hasadim, and Hasadim is light that comes from the right, right means also from above, that this Hasadim from the right side of the dad are coming now as an or Yashar, as the direct light to the left side of the of the dot that actually form a kind of uh, uh, board massage and then this or Hasadim uh, light of Hasadim uh, Uh, how do you smashes the uh, slag uh, to the 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 border this gvorot and the gvorot from the left side of the dot they rise up the orchoser what do we see here also a kind of 
uh, in the dot it in the dot itself we see a kind of zivuk whereby Hasadim comes come from above from red from right and the gvurot rise rise up from left or left left to right as we so we we, we uh, uh, but normally it's high, uh, uh, higher and lower from then we see the or yashar and direct light and the or Hosea. and they penetrate to each other and then this that the result of this zivuk the dot passes to the zone, to the body of the parts of. Yes? And the body, how it works? The body, the zirat being, receives the, the part that, that, is, that is more, that is chasadim, because this is it's his nature. And the Gvurot come to the, through the Ziyanpin, of course, come to the Nukva. This is a very important feature, what I just told. And just uh, take it uh, in yourself. Why, step by step, everything will come uh, on its place in its place, on their place. But just receive it and not all wise, not don't put these questions why. You can put them, but immediately when you put the question why is it like this, you must be satisfied with the way that you ask maybe within yourself the question why because I don't know yet and then you put it and you hide it in yourself all these whys why 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 and they will accumulate in yourself the request and this request will be your request and then in your requests that when it will be will get the uh, real sincere uh, sincere um, um, yeah l- longing shortage when from above it will be seen as the real request, real hisaron. You will just get these answers one by one, or even the answer of the cluster of the questions in one time. And this will be a, for, of a great revelation that you will experience as your own um, revelation revelation to you personally this is a very special um, experience and you must not force it I can tell you things that uh, about my experience, just uh, general, but how it works that on the, on the last lesson of the Zohar in the, from my Dutch group that I felt very from inside of myself it was one of the probably the seldom very uh, seldom, yeah, uh, seldom, very, very, very rare experience I had because it was 
we spoke about something the Zohar spoke about, had spoken about Malchut the Malchut and something together and this Malchut the Malchut is actually hidden within uh, in the high. You know the Malchut the Malchut is hidden in the um, in the head of the, of the attic but you can find everywhere it's shining as it were in the form of the Yisot of the Malchut the Malchut. You can find it in the head of every lower part of it's not all. It's not a, a malchut. The malchut, the real malchut, the malchut is is hidden uh, in the head of the attic. But in all others, in the head, we see, we find it. You sort of the malchut, malchut the malchut. And but really, malchut the malchut is covered by uh, klipot. A higher clipboard. So these three clipboard that uh, Yezekiel, Yeheskel, saw in his, in his, uh, how do you call it, in his vision. And so there are four of them. There are uh, Ruach Sara, one of these. Ruach Sara is the more external ones. In order to to guide this place of the Malchut, the Malchut, this is something of the greatest, of the most inner things where the Zohar spoke, uh, had spoken about. And I had very uh, lower feelings, lower, were very um, uns- things that were very close to this uh, to the experiences of this clipot whilst normally I, I'm always uh, speaking about the or uh, based on base myself uh, beneath myself on the authority sort and but this, th- that time was it like this, because what I do is I do what the Zohar speaks, and not what I want to do. That's, what, that's why I also said to my, I've said to my students that do the same, because not what we would like to do is proper thing, but Zohar brings us to our the most inner, the most hidden places of our inner uh, being. And we must do it. And we must go with the Zohar. Because what I, what I saw it was, uh, and I couldn't tell it to the group, to the class, class, because this Malchut, the Malchut, there is the uh, is surrounded by this clipot, a uh, very stubborn, a very but clipot because clipot are necessary clipot. Without the clipot, uh, in order to guide this place for the malchut of the malchut, because otherwise the uh, let's say the it could damage even the but it but uh, from a one point from uh, from another point the uh, the Rishayim, the the how would you call it, the evil doers <laughs> would just try to get from them from this Malchut the Malchut uh, uh, the power. That's that's why it is surrounded by these four powers of the Klipot that Yeheskel, the great Yeheskel, uh, the prophet. Uh, wrote, uh, has uh, had wrote about, and the the upper the the most um, external uh, klipa is uh, ruach sara, as he as he writes it, 
Ruach Sara means the stormy wind, like this. Uh, and then within it is uh, Anan Gadol. The next one is within it, within it. Also, they are structured in such a way. And within it is Anan Gadol, uh, the great cloud. And within it is Eshmit Lakachet, the fire uh, lion, how do you call it? The burning, the burning fire like this <laughs> means uh, like this. Doesn't doesn't matter ex exactly what, the, but but the burning the the burning burning fire within it. This is the third one. This is the more to the inside, closer to this Malchut the Malchut. And within this is what Yeheskel says, Noga Saviv, the shining surround, surrounding, surrounding shining. Also this is the Klippa, but very thin, thin Klippa. And within this is the Malchut the Malchut. And this Malchut, the Malchut, within itself, this is the combination of the letters of Havaya Adni. One by one. If you take, the, take these four letters of Havaya, this is the... and the four letters of the Adni, and if you write it one by one, the first letter of the Havaya, Yud, and then the first letter of Adni, Aleph, and the second letter then of the Havaya is Hey, and then you uh, and then you will see that you will make uh, uh, the name uh, consisting of eight letters of these two names, and they are and the this. Uh, this combination one by one me means that they are completely uh, uh, sued to each other completely in the completely non-stop zivug the perfectness of them but this perfectness is you see it is uh, surrounded by these powers of the Klippot. And when we are speaking about Malchut the Malchut, then uh, and the Malchut the Malchut, look, is see what I am speaking about. Uh, the Malchut the Malchut, as you know, this is, is uh, hidden in the head of the attic. And of course, on every in every level we have this. In every in every ten spherot we have the reflection of this Malchut de Malchut, the real Malchut de Malchut. That, of it is not the Malchut de Malchut itself, but in any ten spherot, in any world, in every ten spherot we have this place in the head that corresponds to this. Malchut de Malchut, and this is uh, a kind of Yisot, the projection of the Yisot of the Malchut de Malchut. Because of the Malchut de Malchut, no, no revelation is uh, uh, during the six thousand years of the of the creation. And, and in the lesson, when it was the lesson, I looked above. And we must not look above above to this. Not that I looked above, above, but still I had this feeling of speaking because I had to bring it to the class. And it's very important. It's very special what I'm speaking. 
but it is very important not to look, because, look, this Malchut, the Malchut, is shining, is above in the head, and this is the, also in the Bina, it is the 50s uh, gate that is closed during the 6,000 years. But this is from within. From within, that's why we, not, we are not allowed to, to look above within uh, in, in the inner structure of our, ourselves. But we, might, we may, we are allowed to look also to rise up the man, not through the inner side, but only through the, as we call it, the yish, so through the legal way, through the, in the 6,000 years, the legal way of rising up the man and of the receiving of the light. This is only through the Ateret Yesod. By the Ateret Yesod, through the Ateret Yesod, we are allowed to look, because then I look above and I look at the at the Kilim of the Bina and that she gives to me, prolongs to me, and then I can receive in the Kilim of the Bina, in the Ziran Pin and the Malchut that the Bina gives to me, that I can receive. But in my real Zeran Pin and the and the and the Malchut, it's impossible to receive. That's why it is also forbidden. But this is we must learn it step by step. What I said to you, what I've said to you is, I don't know whether someone heard it as what I tell just to you, but only listen to this. And you will know that there are a lot of things to learn about yourself, about how to come to the perfection, to bring the perfection to yourself, and what to do and what not to do. But what I wanted to say is that that was uh, in the during the lesson, and on the night of the Shabbat, when the Shabbat started, when I, I learned something about two, two o'clock probably in the night, and then I went to, to, to sleep. There's also a mitzvah to sleep. The, it's good to sleep because it's uh, then at uh, this night. And then I couldn't sleep, and maybe one, two hours I got, I've received all this picture. And more and more and more. How, what the Zohar had spoken about uh, in this, in that lesson. A great uh, picture of the powers, how it, because it's not just the revelation, just words, but only from what I have learned already, from different parts of the Zohar, not that something from outside or <laughs> something something came in myself, but but from the words of the Zohar itself that revealed in me these things. What I want to say is, in relation to what I have told to you a little bit before, that if you have this wise, why, why, why be, and you feel maybe gloomily even, even gloomily uh, in some moments because you say, I don't understand the word. Be receptive, receive this, and in a such a way like it was in the, at the last Zohar lesson. I couldn't come out uh, from these feelings and this is you must do it you must uh, respond to because it's your your correction your way your um, grasping of things so if the Zohar brings you 
sometimes to a joyful feeling, sometimes the something you are getting even gloomy. Just receive it for granted. And it will be the later when it will it will be already um, the time timing at the right timing you will receive the right revelations. You yourself and this is the this wise why 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 so this that of the Yishud is well uh, can be known as I'll try, I tried, I've tried to explain it. Then 12, 12 uh, after the point. Ki ba'et. 13. Shatachtonim malim man. Chosere et abina kula 14. לראש דאריך אנפין. ואז היש סוד מקבלים חוכמה פי פיפטין מאבא ואימא ומשפיעים לזון. ונבחן אז שהיוד נפיק סיקסטין מאוויר ונעשה אור. Shehu or Chochma. Point. Um, Twelve after the poem. You know, this passage, this, what we are studying now, I gave, I gave it uh, two years ago. That's about two, two and a half years ago, or two years ago, probably two, two years, exactly two years ago, maybe a little bit le- before. This. this is, of course, the level of this explanation, what I, or not only only explanation, but what I am what is given to me to explain and how to explain is in comparison with two years ago it's like nothing and everything you see and it doesn't mean that at that time I knew or I felt uh, not uh, enough but this is completely different what is now and over one year it will be Bezrat Hashem, with, with, God, with the help of God, it will be ten times more than what now is. Because this is the way how the spirituality uh, is rec- uh, acquires. It's like in the Torah is said, when if you when you will, if you will listen to the words of the Torah, it is in Dvarim, as I said, in the last, last book of the Torah, that if you will listen to the words of the Torah, and you will do what is written in the Torah, it was written, it is written, was written after all this, um, uh, how do you call it, the Klalot, uh, there, there are um, blessings, and the opposite of the blessings are curses. So it was uh, in the Torah was written the uh, the, ble- the first the they were they were written the, written the curses. Your curses that 
if you don't do it, you will receive this and this and this and this and this. And terrible things that were written over there. You will marry a woman and she will be, and another one will get here. You will, uh, again, again, all these things, terrible things that were written in the Torah, as it were, if, in case that you will not listen to the words of the Torah. And then it was written that, but if you will do listen to the words of the Torah, it means you will listen with your heart and with everything, and you will do it. Then it's written that one will uh, will fight, yeah, one will, uh, how do you call it, uh, will, ten will, let's say, will, I don't remember exactly what it, I can't say it exactly, that uh, ten would throw away, would fight away, would whip away in the fighting a thousand. It's not, it's not uh, just one by one that one can win from one, but one could win the ten. It means that not the arith- uh, progression is not arithmetical progression, not just one plus, plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four, but this is the geometrical progression that. One, two, one, one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus four times, yeah, four, no, one, uh, two, what, four, four times four is sixteen. Sixteen times sixteen. So, and then is hundred, uh, let's say hundred sixty eight, sixty nine. And then hundred sixty nine times double, double. You know how great is the 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 growing is acceleration of the growing is is uh, in the geometrical pro- geometrical progression it means uh, a huge growing the more you growing the huger is the acceleration of the growing process this is the way how the study of the spirituality works. And still, everything is necessary. What I explained two years ago is, uh, I would not be able to explain it as it as I, ex- I have explained it that two years ago. Now I am not able to do it. I am not able to repeat things. You see? And so you must be also like this. Because you are now on the le- a new level. You must speak about this level where you are. Even when you speak simple things. You speak the simple things from the, um, your point, from, the, your, from your level. Okay? That's why it is very important what it was two years ago because then it shows and it goes together these lessons that they gave in Dutch and they give still still in Dutch of this over they are going together with the growth of the general level of the of of our of our class of our participants and it is also very special over there I receive special um, revelations how to do it over there. And in these lessons, in English lessons, this is, I, I try, not I try, but uh, what is my task is to bring this over in general, in the most uh, wide context, together with the Torah, together with all different 
kinds of uh, aspects of the spiritual, the knowledge of the um, instruction, the knowledge of the operational system, how to use it and how to bring the light, it bring yourself in, in conformity with this light and bring the light here in this world to correct yourself. Correct yourself, if you correct yourself, cor you correct the world. No other ways. And this is, look what he says, um, the line 12. Yeah? Yes? No, no, of course. So this very, very, very good question. Miriam asks that when I'm, uh, that one must speak about, or even let's say the the teacher of the Kabbalah must speak about from his own level. Of course, it's not when I give the lesson in in the class. I don't give. Of course, I don't give the the. It is not the meaning that what I said that uh, that. That I that I do that I give the the lessons on my level of what I what I learn in my home in my uh, in my study in my uh, room study my room where I study the Zohar. Of course not, but it means that uh, re relatively, what I said. What I've said that two years ago I gave it like this, and now I give it in a different way. But of course, in, it must help. This is the this is the 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 feature. This is the goal that it must help. It must correspond. It must be. Uh, Reflection of the Zohar, what we are learning now, in co in connection to the class class that is uh, to to which I give the Zohar, and also in my uh, imagination, I also see the all the possible possibilities of. Uh, other uh, potential uh, students who would learn this Zohar, whether in this time or later. Because these Zohar lessons, what I give, as I say always, that I, it's not me that, I speak, that is speaking it, that I just must give it. And, but these lessons, and, you, and also the lessons in what that, that I give in Dutch, or I gave in Dutch, that uh, they will be uh, relevant uh, up till the night before coming the Mashiach. That's what I said. Of course, they will. They they might might. Later come other teachers. Of course, they will also explain it through. Probably through uh, everyone can come later who will explain it through his uh, specific sphera that he of his neshama. He can explain it, but still, it is uh, it is the same zohar that will be explained up till the uh, night before, evening before the eve, on the eve of the coming of the Mashiach. I, I, did I explain a little bit? Okay, I'll try to try to explain this. But of course, one must, a teacher must work in a, such a way that 
he uh, that he opens itself himself for the for his uh, students it means opens itself but it means that the goal is that to help them not me but the what comes through me this Zohar must help uh, the student but the student gets this all what he listens also you take it and uh, pass it through your keely the, mo- the important thing is you bring it through your, ke- your keely and it is of course the a great um, deal of struggle with yourself to accept these things and just to get this what you receive and uh, not confront it with your opinions opinion like this but because we have the same goal I don't I don't bring someone I don't say someone follow me I just give it to you and they say follow yourself your own put it through your own kilim in your own kilim and you will get the answers the answers will be yours all these wise will be yours personal personally you will receive the answers even uh, through other lessons you will get the answer ah now I understand actually all the answers will be you will find in our lessons themselves and now this uh, Sentence 12 after the point. Because in the time when the lower, he says so, tachtonim lower, they who are lower, it means the, we say just, I translate it like uh, the lower levels, but means the, the souls, of course. Because in the date, in the time, when the lower levels or oh, the souls, Maliman uh, rise uh, the man up. The request, Hoseretta Bina, look, the Bina turns back completely back to the returns back to the Rosh of Arihampin, to the head of the Arihampin. You see, because if I rise a man, rising man means that coming from that a, a piece of a lower, of a soul, let's say, or, or a piece of the, of uh, the, a piece of uh, uh, a, a spiritual light, comes from within, from beneath, above, one stage, let's say, one level, and then, of course, all the, the, all the, the, all the ladder, all the spiritual ladder, rises also one level above. It stays from one point. It stays. It stays on itself in in the same in the same position position, in the uh, original position always uh, and the, but the additional rising in additional rising all the spiritual uh, ladder rises one step above that's why also when uh, some soul, soul here on earth rises up uh, elevates uh, um, real or sincere man sincere means that above 
they, they see that this is a true sincere man is. Then all the ladder goes up. Look what is happening then. Kiva et, because in the time when 13 the Tachtonim, the lower levels, the souls, Mali man uh, elevate the man, the request. Hozerata bina kula, the whole bina returns, returns back 14 to the Rosh of Arihanpin. She returns to the head of the Arihanpin because her purpose, purpose of of uh, descending of the head was in order to bring the lower to help the lower uh, levels to uh, correct themselves now when the lower level correct itself rises up the man request then she returns back uh, taking this man with it, with itself as it were to the higher in order to bring the light back uh, the feeling on this request to the law. And what, how it happens, he says, that the Bina returns to the Rebina, Bina of the Arihan Pin returns fully to the head Rosh of Arihan Pin, the, re, uh, the, re, the, the, the head of the Arihan Pin. 14. Ve'az a yishsud mekablim chokma and then look what he says. And then the Yishsud receives Chochma 15 from the Arihan Pin. Not Abuim. Abuim, he says, uh, only the Yishsud receives the Chochma. Of course, through the Abuim. But this is the Abuim who returned back to the to the head of the Arihan Pin, because Abu Ima, within the Abu Ima, is the Bina of Arihan Pin. So the, the Yishsud receives Chochma 15 from the Arihan Pin, Umashpiim the zone, and they give it, they bestow the zone, they give it to the zone, the Arihan Pin and Nukla, the real ones. Venivhan as and then it is uh, considered Shahayud Napik Meavir look that the Yud, the letter Yud uh, uh, comes out of sixteen of the word Avir. Look at the word in the word the word Avir. Mi Avir from the Avir, the first the first word from the line sixteen. Mi is the letter Mem is Mi is from, and then Avir, and then the, the Yud is uh, the of or the, this is Malchut. The, uh, this Yud uh, returns back to its own place to the Malchut, and then there is no Yud in this word Avir. That means Avir means uh, air or Chasadim. When Asa or and without Yud is getting or or is light light of Chokhmah. So we see it in this in here here we see the hint in the language itself in the word itself. Avir is air or Chasadim with the Yud inside. This means the Malchut that, rise, uh, r- that rose up to the, under the Chokhmah. And when in the Gadlut, then the Yud is uh, descending, descends back to its own place and then re- and reveals the light or, and then it becomes or light of Chokhmah. This is light of Chokhmah. Shuhu or Chokhmah, that this is the or Chokhmah, light of Chokhmah. And that means that in the Yishsud, is, this is what is, what takes place in the Yishsud. And this is, and this is what, uh, uh, in Abu Ima note, always 
they are always like Avir, always Hasadim. And you doesn't leave the, them ever. But in Yishsud well, because in Yishsud we have, if Yishsud works with Aterat Yesod, the Masach in the Yishsud is Aterat Yesod. Aterat Yesod is Yesod. Yes, that is not a Malchut. So in the head of the Yishsud, under the Chokhmah, stands not the Malchut, the Malchut, but Aterat Yesod. And that's why Aterat Yesod, no problems to bring it down and to, write, to, to bring it above. When it is Katnut, then Aterat Yesod st- uh, rises up to the, under the Chokhmah. And when it is Gadlut, after rising the, uh, the mound, then the Malchut descends back to its place. Then five lights, the, the, uh, the Masach can see, can see five lights, and accordingly, light Chokhmah can receive light Chokhmah, 16 after the point. Areisha vira de yish sutit yada, that means, say, 17, that avira de yish sut, that the air of the yish sut is uh, knowledgeable, with, with, can be known. Because, well, because it brings the chokhmah down, that means that it can be known. And, no, and aval, 17. Abu Yim Alayin 18. Misharim Gam Az Bechazaratam Lerosh Darichan Pin Vichinat 19. Avira Dachia. Vayud Lo Napik Me Avir Shalahem. Look what he says about the Abu Yim. 17. Aval, but Abu Yim Alayin, the higher Abu Yim. Eighteen nisharim gam as they are remaining also then bechazaratam uh, being reta- returning being returned back to the rosh to the head of the arichan pin in the aspect of eighteen avira dachia of the thin air thin chasadim. Veha Yud and the letter Yud Lo Napik Meavir Shalahem doesn't uh, come out of their Avir. So they always they uh, the Yud stands over, always over there and doesn't come uh, doesn't become or the light of Uchma twenty. Ki einam mishanim darkam lolam valken hem nikraim avira de loitiada. Twenty. Ki einam nishanim ni ki einam mishanim darkam lolam because they never change their way, their nature. But really, but uh, literally their way. Valken, and that's why Hem Nikraim, they are called Avira de Loitiada, they are called the Avira, the Air, or Hasadim, de Loitiada, that are not known, known, that are, that can't, that can't be known. 